Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is March 27th, 2021. Let's talk football. Let's talk about a futures bet right now that's just screaming at you. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, it's pretty much known that Urban Meyer is in love with Trevor Lawrence. I'm assuming Trevor Lawrence goes number one in the draft, right? I know the New York Jets have blown many drafts. Also, the Jets probably would help themselves by trading out of the two pick. But according to reports, BYU quarterback Zach Wilson blew the door off the hinges at his pro day showed ridiculous arm strength, showed ridiculous mobility because the Jets are seeking validation with their fans, because they can't roll the dice that much. I'm assuming that Zach Wilson goes to the Jets with the second pick. So then we get to the third pick. Now keep in mind, I might be biased because I'm in the Bay Area. But we get to the third pick San Francisco just gave up a king's ransom for this third pick in the draft. The purpose of this video is to speculate, and I have no inside information. I'm just like any other gambler listening to this video slash podcast, right? It's speculation on my part, but I believe in terms of ceilings, not where the guy is today, but where the guy could be, I believe the 49ers take North Dakota State Bison quarterback Trey Lance. Right? Yes, a sophomore, redshirt sophomore. I believe they take him. And all I'm saying here is that the Niners right now on NFL Futures, as of March 27th, 2021, are 14 to 1 underdogs. 14 to 1. Right? This Trey Lance guy is a rare quarterback talent. In terms of ceilings, I believe his ceiling is much higher than anybody else at the position in this draft. That includes Lawrence, that includes Wilson. Let me just point out, too. He went to a football powerhouse. <laughs> now, we don't recognize North Dakota State the way we recognize, let's say, the University of Alabama. But understand, North Dakota State is a football powerhouse. They are Carson Wentz's alma mater. Understand, Trey Lance was highly recruited out of high school. The Bison won the Division I FCS championship eight times in nine years. It's an elite program. This kid came in, quite frankly, no quarterback in this draft. Moves as well as this kid. Running the football, there simply is no comparison between him and Zach Wilson, right? This is a great athlete, spectacular athlete, the key here is throwing the football. Just imagine if Kyle Shanahan, San Francisco's head coach, an offensive guru, had legs on Matt Ryan. Just imagine if Matt Ryan was more like John Elway than Matt Ryan. In other words, had accuracy, could throw the ball the way Matt Ryan throws the ball but also had legs, could also move. Now, that's important because understand the 49ers two years ago made the Super Bowl with a vicious rushing attack. A key part of a Kyle Shanahan offense is its running capability. The Niners last year, and I know they didn't make the playoffs, 
resemble General Hospital more than they did an NFL football team, right? Stars were injured all over the place. Joey Bosa, injured. Debo Samuels, injured. Their quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, injured. If those guys come back healthy, and if the 49ers get Trey Lance, right? And I'm just telling you, it's the highest ceiling of any quarterback in this draft. He's the best athlete at the position. This is rare athleticism. And let me just point out that unlike Michael Vick, for example, this is a 6'4 kid. This is a kid who size-wise is your prototypical NFL quarterback. You put him on a San Francisco team that's loaded at wide receiver, right? 49ers picked up Brandon Ayuk in last year's draft, folks. They have the wide receivers, right? In an offensively oriented system that prioritizes the run, where they could do things like read option. They could even have this guy drop straight back. And I think the Niners are going to be downright dangerous. Now I'll concede, I have a futures bet already on the Rams in the division. Because of course I'm a huge fan of Matt Stafford. Right? You give Matt Stafford the keys to a Ferrari and he is going to accelerate. But let me just say this. I believe Arizona is going to face some challenges. Right? The situation in Seattle seems to be getting toxic to me. I believe strongly in Russell Wilson, but it seems like there's been a little bit too much trade talk. Right? Turn on the TV and, oh, here's another story about how Russell would be willing to play for other teams. Right? Oh, here's another story about how Chicago is still interested in Russell Wilson. My point to you is the Niners have the talent on the roster now. Right When guys like Bosa get back in the lineup, recover from their injuries, that Niner defense is going to be downright nasty. Right, Let's remember, they're up by 10 points in the second half of the Super Bowl against Pat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's remember, they blow out Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers in the playoffs before getting to the Super Bowl, right? This this team is underrated. 14 to 1 is a screaming deal. Let's also remember, too, you can hedge the play later because it's a futures. And Lord knows with 14 to 1 leverage, you have odds to play with, right? And so, if it gets to be late in the season, and let's say the Rams are one step ahead of 49ers, right? Let's say that you see the road to the playoffs is a little bit hectic. Then at that point, you can hedge out for profit. So on a team this good, a team that was in the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl before this last one, right? Think about that. Right? A team that quite frankly, has one of the best offensive minds in the entire league as its head coach, coupled with a ridiculous tradition at the position, right? If Trey Lance becomes the quarterback of the 49ers, he's going to look at the sidelines some games, and he's going to see Joe Montana. He's going to look at the sidelines other games, he's going to see Steve Young. Folks, I'm telling you, Jeff Garcia was a hell of a quarterback. He's also with the Niners. You don't hear about him in the Niner history books simply because Montana cast that long a shadow, right? Montana and Young have Super Bowl rings. So the Brodies and the Jeff Garcias get ignored, right? 49er ownership understands. Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch pretty much have a blank check to do what they want, right? You know John Lynch, the GM, just got in the Hall of Fame, right? These are football guys. These are gamblers. This isn't the Jet organization where 
they can't be too bold. The New York media is going to be on them. They haven't proven themselves. They only have one Super Bowl ring, Joe Namath, Super Bowl three. No, no, no. This is a different setup. A team with many rings, a team that just got to the Super Bowl, a head coach with legitimacy as a head coach, got his team to the Super Bowl, as well as as an offensive coordinator. You might recall, he was the coordinator with the Atlanta Falcons when they blew that historical lead against the New England Patriots. If there's a fault on Kyle Shanahan, it's that he's too aggressive. Right? These guys have traded up to the three spot. They didn't do so to pick an offensive lineman. Let's be real. They already know Trevor Lawrence is off the board. Good luck getting Jacksonville to trade you the first pick of the draft. Right? I'm guessing the Jets just aren't going to take a redshirt sophomore with the second pick. I'm guessing the Jets go Zach Wilson. The workout was great. So then they're the Niners, where they want to be, with the third pick. Trey Lance hasn't been on national TV much, but everyone in the NFL knows he's a bit of an urban legend, right? They know Carson Wentz should have been the MVP a few years ago. Then he gets hurt with a few games left in the season, right? But elite quarterback, straight out of North Dakota State. They know the program is one of the best programs in the country. And here you have one of its best players in recent memory. Right? Fans may not be up on it. I'm just telling you right now. Look at the highlights. I have some of the highlights in my favorites folder here on Utah, oh, excuse me, on YouTube for Trey Lance. I believe the Niners take Trey Lance with the third pick of the draft. Understand, even if they keep Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo would be like Alex Smith and Colin Kaepernick. Right? One guy more in the pocket, more read and deliver. The other guy, more of a wild card, more of an athlete, might be able to design plays for him where he breaks off 40, 50-yard runs or hands it to some of the running backs on San Francisco's team to pick up the yardage on the ground. With an imaginative coach like Kyle Shanahan, if you get late in the season and if Trey Lance, who hit the ground running at North Dakota State, Hits the ground running in the NFL and is NFL ready the first day. The Niner offense is going to be impossible to stop by the time we get to late November. The Niners right now, 14 to 1 on NFL futures. You need to have them, in my opinion, as part of your betting portfolio. As well as the Rams and, of course, in the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right? Because let's face it, Tampa's re-signed everybody, haven't they? Right? I'd like to see A.B. there. I know A.B. hasn't re-signed with Tampa yet. But let's just say Tampa has done enough where Tom Brady's going to have a plethora of receiving options to throw to. Right? So, let me just say, Tampa, you're getting shorter rods than the Niners. Right? The Rams and the Niners, that NFC West is going to be one hell of a division. Right? 14 to 1, Niners move up to the third spot. I'm guessing Trey Lance. I'll be shocked if it's anyone else. Why? Because John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan are gamblers, they understand high ceilings. When you have a John Elway type guy in the draft, you have to take him. That guy is Trey Lance. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. 14 to 1, Niners to win it all. Sign me up. No need to put a bow on the package. I need that in my betting portfolio. 
So when the Niners start shocking the world, the world that's forgotten, that the Niners were one of the toasts of the league pre-pandemic, that the Niners had young talent all over the field. They had team speed all over the field. They manhandled the Vikings, manhandled the pack. When the world gets reminded of that, by the Niners having a healthy roster for the first time in several months. I want to make sure that I've already locked in huge odds, double digit odds, 14 to 1 odds on NFL futures. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your message in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.